We love Galway. You know, and I always want to have winners up there. And, but you've just got to get the right horse to go to Galway because Galway is unique. We actually managed last year to really write the script because we had a horse for All About the Girls Syndicate running there. You crack me up. And they decided to make a proper day out of it, so they just they went for lunch in Morons, then to the races, and then, you know, you don't normally... Yeah. This doesn't normally happen. She won, and then a lot of them stayed that night in Galway, so they had a proper party. I think there were a lot of sore heads the next morning. The great thing about Galway, there's something for everyone in Galway. You know, there's a good chance that, you know, no one will get a horse to Galway, you know, a handicapper or a maiden, uh, as well as a high-class horse. Some good two-year-olds run in Galway and go on to very, very good, th uh, very, you know, go up to the race at the, the top level. It was 30 years ago since I won the Galway hurdle, so don't worry, it's, it's in the old days. Fantastic. You know, when you're starting off training and you get a high-profile uh, winner of a, a high-profile race, uh, it's fantastic, it kind of, kind of puts you on the map. It was in my mind he won a, he won a handicap hurdle in Limerick one day. And it, then I said, right, he's going to go for the Galway hurdle and along the line we'll run him in a couple of fat races on the way. And that's what we did. What were the celebrations like? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be the memory of Galway that sticks out in your mind? Or oh, it, oh, yeah, it does, yeah. And then we had great week when Kate won the, um, the GPT. That was a great night as well. Interesting quotes after Paul Discovery won earlier this year. He's allergic to grass, I think it's yeah. and he got <laughs> slightly <to> difficult. <laughs> yeah. How did you find that one out and how do you manage uh, that? Well, I know we found it and it was actually um it was Timothy Grass he was allergic to and our hay was all Timothy hay. So anyway, we did an allergy test and then they isolate out and then it came up with that and, and that was uh, what it was. So we took that, and of course, we'd ha we thought he had an allergy to whatever, dust or something. And what we'd done was we'd kept him living out out in the field, in a small paddock. Of course, the worst thing too. <laughs> that was just not the brightest thing until we knew. And then, oh my God, we shouldn't be doing that at all. He's going to go for the novice chase in Galway, all being well. Uh, he won his beginner's chase finally the other day. Uh, but he has plenty of experience because he ran in novice chases three years ago. Uh, so number two is Pigeon House. He won a handicap hurdle at Punchestown. He's going for handicap hurdle on the Friday in Galway and entered in the winners as one as well. Uh, next one is three is Norwalk Havoc. He's in the, uh, he's in the, uh, the, the, whatever it is, the Mile, mile Race, mile. mile Handicap. I don't know what you keep changing the name of it. Column Quinn Mile. Column Quinn Mile. Yeah. <laughs> then, then four is Kinesiology. Kinesiology, who won't be going to, like, doubt, unlikely to go to Galway. Uh, he runs this weekend. Justice was third in that race two years ago as a three-year-old. Yeah, so we're just hoping that that might suit him. Tunnel of Love might might with a might run in a maiden there, but I think it's probably unlikely. Camelot Alexander, if she if she comes on well now, she's number six. Uh, she she'll run it in a handicap at Galway, over probably a mile and two. A mile so we either mile mile and one. Sorry, mile and one you have there, uh, and then we have Yashin, who could easily go uh, for the conditions race. He needs to get back running before he goes to the, he'll end up going to the Ebor. We have Old C, he'll be running in a, a maiden. Yeah, he was given a mark the other day, he'll get an entry in the maiden and um, get an entry um, in the three-year-old only handicap over a mile. He was fast finishing after a bit of time off there in Killarney last week and um, yeah. he'll get an entry to vote and we'll see which... Uh, Often looks the nice best. And then we have King's Tyne, probably unlikely to go to, to Galway. Um, I, I, he, could, he could get an entry for the, uh, it is the seven furlong on Saturday, there's up to 95. Five. Yeah, he could do, but it would depend a bit on the ground. Uh, then we have Going Remote, he's in the mile and a half Premier Handicap. He won the Ulster, Ulster Derby the last time. Uh, he's in great form. He's number... 10 there. Uh, we have Polar Bear. Going the seven furlong. So he'll be in the seven furlong, one of the seven furlong handicaps. Over the weekend. Uh, over the weekend is in, but like he might go to Galway, he might not. It just depends. Then we have Blue Drum, and Blue Drum um, will, be ha will be given an entry into the listed Corrib, Corrib. listed Corrib stakes uh, over seven furlongs, um, and we'll just see what the, what the ground does. Very good third, or second. Second in a group three the other day. 
Uh, then we have serialize. Uh, she'll run in at some, maybe seven furlong handicap or a mile handicap, it's between seven furlong and a mile, it'll just depend. Um, it depends a little bit on the ground for her, she likes a bit of nice ground. And then we have Curvature, who'll also have an entry for the for the Corrib, and she, uh, because she likes soft ground, um, and she had her comeback run the other day, she's had one run, it was her first run since last September. And then we have uh, Thrifty of Digby, will be going in, maybe in a handicap up there, it'll just depend. 45, the mile and one. Um, they then have, it's only just begun, uh, unlikely to go there. Uh, she ran at the weekend. Endless Pursuit will go in the mile and a half, four year olds and upwards uh, maiden. Uh, she ran very well in the, the charity race on Saturday, finishing third. And then we have Riviera Queen, and uh, uh, who uh, will run in the mile and a half, three year olds only. Uh, Phillies maiden along and also in that will be have an entry will be Relt Marie. They both get entries in that Phillies maiden. Uh, matter of fact, uh, may not go to Galway. I don't know. We'll just see how she comes on. Uh, Mo Gillimar, she mile and, a half on the uh, mile and a half handicap on the Monday. The, I think that's up to three rows only up to ninety. Um, Improvista. Uh, Phillies well. maiden as well. I just it'll just depend on how she comes on this week. Uh, Girari, he's a fine big horse by um, Order of St George. He may get a he may get an entry in a, in a in a bumper, but he probably wait till after Galway. He's and, very nice, obviously from the family of uh, Jet Ski and Girari and, and Jet and Jatara and all that family. Then we come on to the two-year-olds. We have Lok Tay, who was second first time out, just beaten. He most likely will go for the seven furlong Colts and Geldings maiden. Starry Bet Desert, uh, who's a fine big see the moon horse, he ran the other day. Uh, he could easily go for the mile uh, maiden, Median auction maiden. Uh, Broadstone, he is a, a new bay. Uh, I'm not sure whether he'll end up going to, to, to Galway or not, it'll just depend. And, a, we'll and we'll decide. And then we have Live Like the Boss, who had one run in in, in Leopardstown. She may go. We'll just see. Is she working tomorrow? Uh, yeah, she's working. Tomorrow. She would depend on how they work tomorrow, whether they get an entry. And then we have Marazine, the See the Stars filly, who is a half-sister to Travolans. Then we have... They'll all have entries, these two-year-olds. And Karawa will probably get an entry, and Glamorously Glam will have an entry in the nursery on the Saturday. Uh, Codelicious is unlikely to have an entry there. She wants to go sit. There's not a race shorter for her. And then we have Lady O, who will most likely get a, an entry in, uh, in the nursery, and Golden Lady, who won't have an entry there, but they're just they're there out on this lot. So there's plenty of ent entries that I'll be having, but it will just kind of depend on, on the weather and how a few of them work this week will depend on whether they, they run next week.